Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>、yeah. So we went and did a little conspiratorial shopping. Yeah, all this stuff looks, I mean, like you'd find it at every store. Right. We don't know, well, Gwen doesn't know the meat yet. But I went ahead, I found、uh, some spinach that you can buy, fresh spinach, some fresh tomatoes were on sale. I love the look of the mushrooms. And I'm a big fan of the shallot. I figured this is your challenge. I wasn't going to buy you like monkfish or sea cucumber or something. Shallot. She's so cute. But I love the shallot. I love my shallot. <laughs> So, you ready to unwrap the. Oh, rules, really fast. Okay.、Rules. You can use any seasoning you have in your kitchen because、okay. I figure most people buy, they buy the main staples sure, and then、sure. they just use whatever seasoning they have. Okay. You can use oils or anything like that that you have. Okay.、Um, I think the only thing she can't add is like another protein. Okay. Right? So, you don't like go pulling out a roasted chicken that you cooked yesterday or something. <laughs> That's cheating. All right, you ready? Fair enough, let's do this. Okay. Okay. What could it be? What could it be? Not a, big, not a big chicken. I will tell you that they said it is the freshest one there. Okay, I like that. And it is a、uh -huh, salmon. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Oh my word. Okay. I can work with that. But you know what I can't work without? Wine. Oh, let's hear some wine. We'll grab some seeds and watch it go to it. All right. So, we got this gorgeous salmon. I am thinking we deep fry it. I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. We're not deep frying、oh, it. I'm really like, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. God, no. So, <laughs> I'm going to pan sear it. Okay. We're going to do all this in one, one saute pan. Here's what I'll do I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll make a salad for you. That'll be your side. And then we're going to sweat down a bunch of others as the base of our, of our spinach,、uh, spinach ah. our salmon. What I'm thinking we'll do is we'll season it up a little bit. We'll pan sear it. We'll cook down some shallots. We'll blister off some tomatoes to go with it. We'll add, oh, I don't know what else. We'll see what we can find in here.
thank you, Gwen. Sure. So much for doing that for us. Yeah. I learned a lot. I know. I did too. I learned a lot. And now I'm dying. So Let's try it. Please eat. Let's do it. So before we get to that, I mean, the oh. smell is, am- I'm, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> the smell is amazing. Oh my God. Are you smelling amazing. all the herbs and things? Because I... I know she cooked this fantastic meal. We weren't sure how she was going to cook it. She didn't know what she was cooking. So you and I grabbed three wines that we typically think would go with this protein. Yes. So immediately... That well, you're you, smelling this. We said no to the red because while she's cooking it, we're even looking at some of it. It just, like, it didn't We had grabbed sound. a Beaujolais, which is a beautiful, it's a French wine, mm-hmm. a little bit lighter, because uh, some heavier reds, in my opinion, would overpower this meal uh-huh. and, and these just fantastic ingredients. Right. But it, just like you, I agree. Mm-hmm. I don't, the red fruit with the with right. the herbs and things, I think clash. Well, so. and I thought if she did something with the mushrooms instead of the tomatoes, that then that would sure. be maybe a red... Because again, fish is one of those things you might be able to do something. Mm-hmm. But the garlic and the, and the, garlic, the basil the tomatoes, and the tomatoes, I just, I just like I you. Think, I'm like, nope, we can't do the red. So we have a choice here. We have Sauvignon Blanc, which is what we're going to first try. The Barringer Brothers, and then we're going to do rosé with it as well. So we have tasted this before we did the food. Yep. Mm-hmm. And she um, cooked with it. I did. And she cooked with it, and again, it is a Sauvignon Blanc aged in a tequila barrel. So it is. Which very I thought could be fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Most definitely. It's really lovely. It's so mm-hmm. smooth. I mean, you know, white wines, of course, go with fish, and, and again with these ingredients. And I just thought a little bit of the citrus might be great. I know. Go ahead. I, I can't it's wait. Nice. I, I hope it, it well, goes well. Me too. Me oh. too. More than anyone. Oh my god, this fish is cooked so perfectly. How is it? It's horrible. You're pouring me. Yeah, we charred off the tomatoes. Oh my god. God, this is so good. Sweat it on the spinach and the shallots. Oh, this is amazing. A little garlic. Finished it. We deglazed with, with the Sau Blanc. Mm-hmm. Then we finished it with a little bit of butter. Just to kind of speak to the buttery quality of the salmon. Not that it needed it, but. I'm gonna tell you though, I'm gonna do that to tomato to tomatoes when I do my um, um you know, we just do like a little bit of a Sort of a charcuterie or like a bruschetta. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I don't usually, I usually just leave the tomatoes fresh. Mm-hmm. God, it tastes so it's amazing. Kind of fun. And it's really fun too to do a combination. So you could leave some fresh and then char some others. Mm-hmm. God, this is so good. So how's it with the white wine? Hmm? With the sad blanc. <laughs> Let's get to the point. <laughs> Go food in my mouth. Mm-hmm. makes the wine even better. It does. You know, and at first when I was picking out the wine, my side, because I know you and I were both kind of picking, I have to be honest, I was in between a Chardonnay and a Sauvignon Blanc. Mm-hmm. I think this is better. I, I kept going back and forth, um, because again, I know what's what your favorite wine is. But, I, uh, yes, but I think you're absolutely right. You hit it on the, on the nail on the head with this. A Chardonnay with all the acid, with the tomatoes, just wouldn't have been quite as right as this Sauvignon Blanc. And I, I'm going to tell you, in the Sauv Blanc, I'm picking up the basil or the herbaceousness mm-hmm. that a Sauvignon Blanc will have. Sometimes yeah. it's got a lot of minerality. And a little bit of that balsamic vinaigrette that's just that mm-hmm. little, few little drops in there. I mean, it just really yeah. kind of... Mm-hmm. Well, exactly. Acid is just so important in dishes. And we're actually, we just finished a series, Salt, mm-hmm. Fat, Acid, Heat, mm-hmm. based on the very popular uh, book by Samin Nostrat. And mm. acid is vital. It's It's... If you get to the end of a dish, I often tell students in class, and it's good, but it's just not great. Usually what it needs is a splash of acid. So we finished this dish, you saw, really? with just a little splash mm-hmm. of that 18-year-aged dark it, balsamic. I and got a it little is, bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It wakens up, it brightens up a dish like few other mm-hmm. ingredients can. Mm-hmm. That is so good with that balsamic. The, the, with the... Dressing you did. Did you like that? That's really good with the Sauvignon Blanc too. It mm-hmm. was really good. How about that? So yeah, I'm glad. Yeah. I mean, I think the Chardonnay would have been fine, but there's just a little bit more acidity in mm-hmm. this. But yeah. I didn't want a New Zealand because I didn't. I want. I didn't want the grapefruit side of it. Mm-hmm. I thought the citrus would be a little safer, not knowing what you were going to do yeah. to it. So I mean, if we gone all cream finish with it, or even more butter, then the shard would have made a yeah, lot of sense. Yeah, but, and I mean, I, that's why I kept perfect. going back and forth. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. Yeah. This was delicious, but 
Two fisted over there. I feel like I'm a little left out. Okay. And I want to try the Bring rose. in the rosé. Let's do mm -hmm. this. So we have the rosé. This is literally so spanking new. They sent. They had to send it to my house so that I could take it out and try it. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. And yeah. It's really new. So this is the Coppola Diamond uh, Rosé. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 2019. So you're getting the very very current vintage. Um, mm -hmm. It's made with Pinot Noir. So it gives a little bit more of a jamminess or a fruitiness. Mm -hmm. But it's not the dry French rosé. Yeah. I, I really, I'm really enjoying this. I am too. Because sometimes they can just be so acidic and mineral, mm -hmm. too much minerality to them. And this mm -hmm. is this is really smooth, fruity, but not sweet, fruity. I'm betting this is going to go great with the tomatoes, but I want to see All right, let's how do it goes. Yeah, nice strawberry, this. nice finish. Not too crisp, just very soft. Maybe you're right about the strawberry. That would be mm -hmm. so delicious with like a strawberry cake. Yes, it would actually. Yeah. You know, if one wanted to whip up a strawberry cake, <laughs> right on that. You worked this one so fast. Mm. Oh, this is so delicious. Hmm. I can't stop eating mm, that fresh basil. And I can't talk because I have my mouth full. But honestly, this is so delicious. <laughs> I just got a bite of that fresh basil. Yum. All right, what do we think? Mm. It's pleasant. Hmm. I like the way that it kind of plays off the salmon. I like, and, and I'm right about the tomatoes. I think the tomatoes, mm -hmm. just eating the tomato, cooked tomato, mm -hmm. with that was delicious. Eating the salmon with that is delicious. Mm -hmm. But I think it was a little bit better with the Sauvignon Blanc. I do. I think so too. It, it's it's lovely together, but it mm -hmm. almost gets it almost gets washed out by the food. You know, I mean, it's not not enough acidity. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Which it's very again, soft. It still would work, and mm -hmm. I think if you hadn't had the Sauvignon Blanc, if you had a rosé with it. Yeah. Well, there's some people that don't like Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah, and, and you would be fine, and you would never mm -hmm. notice the fact that we did back to back with these wines. Mm -hmm. Is what right is making us pick one. Yeah, they're, they're both good, and it's a lighter wine, mm -hmm. which I think is you know important for a lot of red wine drinkers yep. because when, they, I mean, you have a cab with this, you won't be able to taste anything. No, mm -mm. Mm -mm. and I think a lot of red wine people struggle with in the summer months um, what wines that they can drink when it's you know warm outside. They switch to beer, and, 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 and it's I like you don't they have to forget switch to that rosé is out there and it's right. definitely yeah. an option. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, good choices, ladies. There you go. So Gwen, mm -hmm. if you or somebody at home who wanted to try this recipe, <laughs> we'll obviously we'll put a link, but will you create a recipe for us? Yeah, absolutely. If I have to remember back what I did. Yeah, I think that would be fun if we could um, put that for people who want to just try it and yeah. and maybe want to you know try it first and then enjoy it while we're enjoying yeah while we're doing the vlog. And then they can grab the wines at your place and mm -hmm. try it as well and just decide for themselves mm -hmm. whether they prefer the Sauv Blanc mm -hmm. or the Rosé. And I always because find everyone's palate is different. You everyone's know? palate. Yeah. And I think it's fun when you have guests over to offer different choices. We had a customer that came in and she did um, exactly. a blind taste test. She had us fun. Yeah, and got to try different things and everybody picked their favorite wine. That was now fun. I'm going to tell you something different. Okay. I just had it with the salad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the vinaigrette dressing. Oh, because of the blueberry. That with the vinaigrette is yeah. amazing. So you need two glasses. So you, you need one try. of each. <laughs> You're gonna have to try it with the vinaigrette dressing. You need to try the cooked spinach too, Nick. I did tell Apparently you. Apparently, she's try. a little bit traumatized from canned spinach elementary school days. Fair enough. Anyone who eating canned spinach would be traumatized. And okay, the dressing other than Popeye is amazing. <laughs> now try it with the yeah. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to do the same. Okay. I'm just pass it around here. Okay. The dressing is nice with that. The blueberry really comes out. Mm -hmm. And it's funny in that we've talked about it and talked about it, but doing this, this <laughs> episode this fun, way, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it really is. It's fun. And I've, fun. I'm encouraging people Ooh. to try this at home with mm -hmm. the, with the, hopefully you'll post that vinegar. <laughs> you get that heat from that Calabrian mm -hmm. infused but extra version olive oil. It's, it's not adds, lovely. It just adds a nice little depth. It doesn't, you know what? It doesn't make, it helps the blueberry from being too sweet. Yeah. All right. And so we talked about oh. this before a number of times. Food is about balance. It's about a little bit of sweet and a little mm -hmm. bit of heat. And you need that balance. And then also make it attractive because pretty food. I still like raw spinach. <laughs> pretty food. I like it too. <laughs> Every once in a while, cooked is yummy. 
But pretty food tastes better. Or, or our mm-hmm. brains are preconditioned to think that an attractive plate of gorgeous, you know, coral-colored mm-hmm. salmon and this deep, beautiful green, and then the red of the tomatoes is going to taste better than an all plate of all boiled white food. Mm-hmm. Right? Well, yeah, yeah, that's true. So it, this has a lot going on. It has a lot of flavors, a lot of contrasts and colors and textures mm-hmm. and it flavors. It smells fantastic. And it's just mm. yummy. So and, I and one say, dish. We did it in one saute pan. How about that? That's fun. Clean that's up. fun for my daughter who has to clean up after me. <laughs> <laughs> but I will tell you, your spinach had really great flavor. I have a texture issue. Mm-hmm. So my picky palate is from I textures. I guess that. And I didn't like the texture, which if anybody was ever going to make me eat spinach, I'm seriously, my mom's going to watch this and go. <laughs> yeah, no, we all have those things. There's certain textures yeah. I just can't stand in, in food as well. What is yours? I don't like anything that is like squishy. You know what? I mean, I like, yeah, I'm just. No like, fruit gushers for you. No, I don't. Mm. Yeah. So like a jelly donut? I don't like that. No. What about you? I'm, no, I'm fine. <laughs> You're like, I'll eat anything as long as I don't have to cook it. I am okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. But, you know, salmon is one of those amazing dishes. Salmon, uh, any kind of fish, really, shrimp. If you want to get dinner on the table quickly, those are the things to have. And mm-hmm. we always keep shrimp in the freezer around here. Talked about not just staples, but keeping fish on hand that you can quickly um, defrost and cook mm. mm-hmm. if you want dinner on the table. And that really didn't take us very long to make no. this, right? That no. Didn't. That being said, I know that everybody's sitting here going, okay, ladies, what's next? Oh, what is next? Well, we have a special um, Rombauer dinner coming up, and mm-hmm. we're going to do a little bit of filming. I'm going to Hopefully, I don't want to make any promises, but hopefully do a little bit of live Facebook with that just okay. to give people an idea if they want to, if they're not able to get tickets, because if they haven't gotten tickets yet, you're probably missing out because yeah. it's, it's probably pretty close to being sold out now. And you just posted it two days ago. Yeah. That's a super fun event. So, and the you're... wines are going to be amazing. Oh I my mean, gosh. Who, nobody's doing a cruise with the Ron Bauer wines. I, I mean, really? Yeah. We are, for those of you who don't know, um, Joy of Cooking, that most iconic of American cookbooks, written by Irma Rombauer in 1931, has, was last November was re-released with an expanded edition by her great-grandson, grandson and great-grandson, I believe. And so we're going to be doing a four, five course, take the bonus course, five course menu here with Rombauer wine pairings at each course, and it is. It's, I'm gonna sure it's going to be <laughs> unbelievable. Yummy, yummy. It's going to mm-hmm. be great. Yeah, All the recipes are from the revised, expanded mm-hmm. Joy yep. of Cooking. So uh-huh. we're going to hopefully do, and, and we'll let uh, we'll let everybody know because that is in May. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, we'll let everybody know about the live uh, live Facebook post for that, and then um, we also have some other special things coming up in May. And maybe some more special guests coming up. Mm. So we will see. Exciting every, stuff. See everybody in May. Mm-hmm. And I'm just going to do another cheer. Yeah. Cheers.